Today we're going to be answering the question, can you freestyle a sin lifter? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of already been answered. We've seen pilots like Alex Vanover and Corey Tapp um, rip some sin lifters doing freestyle, but I kind of wanted to try it today and give actual thoughts of what it's like to fly a sin lifter like that. If you're not familiar here at Rotorat, we fly five inch freestyle drones, which usually they fit in the size of our hand, but a sin lifter is a, let's see, I can zoom in. A sin lifter is a drone that's meant to carry a cinema camera. So this is the Tura Aerial Centurion, and then I have a Blackmagic Pocket 4K on top. Usually we fly GoPros, and like, GoPro a lot smaller than that, a lot smaller, a lot lighter. So I'm kind of going to be giving my thoughts about how I think flying a cine lifter in a freestyle sense feels like. Cine lifters are usually used on TV sets, commercial sets, movie sets, because they can carry a bigger camera to get a better image for, you know, a bigger screen. A movie theater. Usually the shots that we see with cine lifters, they're never doing like super fast flips or you know split S's or power loops. I think the closest that I've seen to freestyle moves in like a movie would be Ambulance by Michael Bay. Alex Vanover was a drone pilot, he did a phenomenal job on that. And usually when you're using cine lifters, the subject of the video is not usually the flying itself. It's usually something on screen, whether that be an actor or you know a car chase that you're doing. But with FPV freestyle, the lure of it is the flying and the tricks you do. So I wanna see if we can do some of that with the big freestyle drones. But let me go ahead and get a flight in and I'm gonna kinda of talk you guys through, I don't know, what's going on in my brain as I'm flying it. If you guys are familiar with my freestyle, I usually like to send it a little bit hard and I crash sometimes. Obviously I don't really wanna crash this setup. It's like this drone with the camera and everything is I think just over $5,000 the whole setup. It's a lot of money. I think that's why people don't really freestyle sin lifters is because just how much risk is involved and how much it costs. But doing this for science, even though it's been done, I'm doing it for myself to test how I like it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's go ahead and launch. So I definitely have a lot more stick time on like a five inch freestyle drone. I think most people have more stick time on those than like a cine lifter. Um, and the first thing that you're gonna notice if you do try to rip a cine lifter doing freestyle is that it is, the top speed is the same, but it's the acceleration that's so much slower just because you're having to move so much more mass in the sky, right? Let's do a little split S here. You. Boom. Well, the annual roll. Sick. Let's go ahead and get a little proxy. It's, it's just like flying a different style of drone, right? So when you switch from, let's just say, a three inch drone to a five inch drone doing freestyle, it kind of it's kind of like that. It's just a completely different experience. Um, let's do a little inverted yaw spin. Don't know what that was, but let me try one more time. Hold up. Also, all the footage in this video that you're seeing is unstabilized, um, which I guess is just a testament to how good bind and fly cine lifters are nowadays. Let's see. Let's go over here. Ooh, scary. Ooh. Whoa, geez. Ah. Can I fly under this thing? Sick. The lens flares on the cinema camera probably look so good right now. I mean, they look pretty good in DVR too, but. You. 
All right, bring it in. Battery's a wee bit low. When freestyling a Cinelifter, it flies, I mean, kind of just like any big drone kind of would. I guess think of like a seven inch drone. It kind of feels like that, the jump from a five inch drone to a seven inch drone, but it's a little bit more exaggerated. Um, you definitely are a lot higher in the throttle. Like when you're doing your turns and stuff, like I feel like I have to be on my throttle to kind of move the direction of the drone because there's so much momentum with of how heavy it is. And the biggest thing, I guess for me is the acceleration is like, just not there. Like the acceleration on bigger drones is much worse than like a five inch freestyle drone. It makes sense, right? You're moving a lot more weight in the sky. You have bigger propellers that you have to get up to an RPM faster. Um, you can change that a little bit by putting on different props. So um, on the on my other single lifters that I have, I really love the HQ, what is it? Eight by 4.5 by three. Those props are phenomenal they give so much power and they do kind of make it feel a little bit more like a five inch drone with the acceleration obviously not the same amount but a really high pitched prop can kind of help combat the acceleration loss you get but then again you kind of have to realize you are flying just a different drone and that you're not going to get the same experience as flying a five inch drone so to answer the question can you freestyle a cine lifter yes but it's definitely easier to freestyle with a five inch drone and a GoPro. Like I said before, half of it's the nerve, half of it's the fact that the drone's just a lot smaller, so you can feel more confident hitting small gaps and stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys gonna try to freestyle a cine lifter? Or is there another, I guess, weird drone we should try to freestyle? I am done yapping about cine lifter freestyle. If you guys like this video, please do press the thumbs up because it does help us out so much. Even just one little tap does so much for us. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and keep flying it some more. I have like two more batteries left. So, I mean, the sun, the sun was gorgeous when I did my first flight, but it's, it's also really, really pretty right now. So I'm gonna get some, some more packs up and I'll just, I'll leave you guys with some more Cinelifter freestyle flying. Oh, jeez, I tripped. Next time you're walking outside, watch where you step. See you guys later.